Hey Lobo, it's Ben Johnson here to show you how to um, play audio from your computer while you're doing a, a team meeting. Unfortunately, uh, computer audio doesn't play through Google Hangout Meets uh, and it doesn't play through the um, Microsoft uh, Outlook uh, Waffle version, the web version of Teams, so you have to have it installed on your um, desktop. So you can check to see if it's on your desktop by clicking on the Microsoft Start button and just type teams in the search and if it's installed it'll be right there you can click on it and launch it um, you can see that um, mine wasn't so I had to download the installer and install it and I'll just show you how to do that uh, quickly if you need to install it so you can just also search for software center and you can launch the PSD software center and there may be some other ways to install it also but um, this way I know works and then you can just search for teams and you should be able to just click on that and hit install and hopefully it works uh, I've already got it installed so I don't have the option to reinstall it but um, give that a shot you may need to restart your laptop after you're finished and then hopefully at some point when you click on the start icon down here and you type in teams it'll be available on your um, computer and you can see I'm not in the web version of Teams that your students may be using. I, I'm in the actual version that's installed on my desktop. Um, yours may not open to a window that looks like that so I just want to kind of show you how to navigate Teams. It's not as user friendly as some of the other um, tools in my opinion but uh, I'll show you how to do some basic things in it. So on the left you'll see the Teams icon here. You can always click on that. I have a few teams that I've joined or started. Um, you'll want to make one for each period that you teach probably. So in the upper right hand corner you can click on the Join or Create Team and uh, just create a team. And this one will probably be a class but you can decide. And then I'll just call it P3 Tech and then I'll hit next and um, I could start manually adding my students to this class if I'd like to which really won't take uh, very long you can just start typing in their last names and their IDs will pop up um, but if you want to skip that step you can just hit skip and you can just manually send them a link here and I'll show you how to do that in a second so you can use Teams sort of like Google Classroom to upload materials. Um, you can see all the sorts of things that are here. It's sort of Google Classroom-like. Uh, I don't find it as intuitive, but it could just be that I'm not using it as often. So feel free to check it out. Um, but in terms of doing the uh, playing the audio from your computer during a meeting, you, you'll go down here to the bottom where there's a little camera icon, and you'll click that. And what you'll want to do is just go ahead and schedule a meeting. And I'll just call it um, P3 Office Hours. And then, uh, again, you could put your students in here, but you don't need to. Then you're just going to pick the time and make sure that it matches the, the time that you would normally meet with your students. So. I was trying to think. Period 3, I think, starts around 12.10 um, or something like that. Um, so I'll just do 12.30 to 1 so that I don't interfere with other teachers that uh, might be overlapping with me. And uh, you can type in any of the other information here. I'll have this one repeating every weekday. So these are all optional steps. And uh, unfortunately, it won't give you the uh, link. At least I haven't found a way to get the link until after I, I hit this uh, send button. If you want to add yourself here, you can, you can do that. Um, Okay, you, although you don't have to. I'm just going to hit the send button so I can get this link. And there may be some other way to do that. But uh, Okay, and so here's this that I just scheduled. And so if I open it back up again, 
it'll finally give me this link. Okay, and um, I can now just highlight this link and copy it and uh, paste it into uh, my Google Classroom or the email that I send the students, however you want to get that out to people. And then there's uh, one other thing you might want to take a look at is these meeting options, which launches it into the um, browser for some reason. I would think it would just stay in the program. But anyways, uh, who can bypass the lobby? You can set that up by default, people in my organization. Um, always let callers bypass the lobby. Announce when callers join or leave. So you can turn these things off. And then who can present? I would go ahead and turn that to only, only me. And then you don't have to worry about any students doing anything inappropriate. And then you can just save that. Okay, so those are the options. I can close that now and I can come back to my Teams meeting here. And again, if I just want to right click on this link, I can now publish that um, in my Google Classroom. So uh, I could do it here in the stream. I could just right, right click in that. Or I could. Uh, send out an email through the gradebook um, to tell to, to alert students to it or I could have invited them through the that little search box but that might be tedious with a lot of students um, I probably should have put a little explanation there saying you know this we'll, we'll use this to do our office hours each day that that sort of thing anyways now now students can access this through the Google classroom um, again, I could email that out to them through the, the gradebook, however you want to distribute that. All right, so now how to get the audio to play through the computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and join this meeting, even though I don't have any students there yet. And I'll just hit join now, and you can see my camera's off. I can go ahead and turn my camera on if I want to. And um, I'll just turn that off for now. But at this point, I want to just hit the share desktop. And I can pick the screen that I'm wanting to share. And I have this little Denver Zoo clip up. And that's what I'm going to play for my students. And I want them to hear that audio. Now, if you mouse up to the top of the screen, and you wouldn't know this unless I told you, you'll see this little icon that says Include System Audio. And uh, it's by default that's that's off, and you want to you want to hit your mouse up there and turn it back on. Okay. Now at this point, um, not only is the audio getting picked up from my microphone, but any audio that's on this um, presentation is also going to play out to um, out to my students also. And, of course, if you have it muted on your computer, it won't um, play to the students. So make sure that you unmute that both in YouTube, you know, on the browser, and through your computer. Otherwise, it won't reach them. Okay. I'm just going to pause that. But So right now, the students would be seeing that video on their screen as well as hearing that music there in the background. And so if you want, you know, I've had music teachers, um, world language teachers that want to be able to play videos um, for their students to hear. And uh, using Microsoft Teams, uh, the one that's installed, is really the only way to, to accomplish that. Okay, so then, of course, once the meeting is over, um, well, let's see. I'll stop sharing the desktop. So you have to just know to take your mouse to the top, which is sort of annoying, and then you can stop presenting. Okay. Um, you can show your participants here, and uh, you might want to, if you want students not to use it, once you've exited, you could go ahead and um, dismiss them or expel them. I can't remember what, what the language is. 
when you click over here it'll it'll give you that option to to remove them from that meeting and then ultimately you'll want to go ahead and hang up and it may it may even prompt you whether you want to, to remove students or not I, I can't remember on teams but um, anyways that's that's how you play audio through your computer to the the students sort of a lot of steps there after you do it the first time or two it's pretty easy but um, for those of you that really need to play that computer audio out to your students during a, a live video session that's that's how um, you can accomplish that thanks for watching